Okay, I'm going to get the hand tool, the letter H. I'm going to go back up, and there was something on his forehead there that we wanted to get rid of. I'm going to get the spot healing brush tool, and I'm just going to use a content aware, and I'm going to click to get rid of that spot. And let me go ahead and resize my image to fit in my screen, and let's assume that we went ahead and we finished the rest of those cracks and things. But all else, the picture actually looks pretty good right now. Now, we can probably tell that this picture was colorized. It was taken back in 1942, and probably would look better if we had it as more of a grayscale or a sepia toning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my Actions panel by clicking on Window and choosing Actions. And these, again, are a series of macros that have been created for you that you can just simply select them and apply them to the selected layer, and then it will go through all the steps necessary to create that effect. So I'm going to scroll down, and there is one here, I believe, called Sepia Toning. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to click the Place Selection button at the bottom of the Actions panel. And now I have my Scan Layer selected in my Layers panel, and it's going to be applied to that layer, or it's going to use that layer to create these effects. And you'll notice some new layers were created. There's a Hue Saturation layer, a new layer one, and then the Scan Layer. So if I hide these two, you can see the Scan Layer has not been touched, a new layer has been created, and then a hue saturation layer. And notice this little arrow on the hue saturation layer. This has been made into a clipping mask. So if I click on the panel menu for the layers, I can choose Release Clipping Mask, and you'll notice that it comes back, and then if I hid my layer one, it would actually also be applied to my scan layer. I'm gonna click back on layer one. I'm gonna go back to my panel menu, and I'm gonna choose Create Clipping Mask. So what that does is instead of having to make a selection like we've done in the past with adjustment layers, by making a clipping mask, we can apply whatever adjustments we're creating on new layers to the layer directly below it. So any layer that we put under that little arrow from hue saturation would actually have the hue saturation adjustment layer applied to it. And I think you can see here that our picture does look better just in a sepia toning rather than with that colorization.